you guys and welcome back to Organize It January. Um, I am going to talk to you guys today about ways to organize the space, like the walls or something of your stairs, like going down to your basement, or some ways to organize under your stairs. If you have like an under the stairs cabinet or under the stairs storage. First of all, we're going to talk about under the stairs storage. Since I don't have under the stairs storage in this house, I did previously. I'm going to talk about some ways to organize it. One, you can turn your under the stairs storage into a crap. Like a place to hang all of your, your place to store your vacuum, hang up all your brooms, everything like that. If you don't have like a huge storage space under the stairs, you can do that. But if you have a big storage space under the stairs, I would make that be like your seasonal storage, you know, where you store your winter clothes when it's summertime and where you store your holiday decor and stuff because it's under the stairs so it's easy access but it's not in the way. Also it's a good place to store paint because paint is not supposed to be out stored in the garage because of the shifting temperatures it can actually harm and ruin your paint. I know worked in a hardware store for three years the random things I know about paint. Um, but or you can turn that under the stairs closet you can turn it into a pantry you can do so many things with it. I wish I had it under the stairs storage to show you here but well, I do actually in our basement, but there's really nothing I can do with it because it is tiny. It basically is just for storage tubs. That's all it is for. It's for our kids storage tubs and extra blankets and stuff when we have company. That's what it's for. But today what I'm going to show you is the area of the wall that we have going down to our basement on the side and the basement door, what we did for storage for that space. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that and explain to you how simple and easy it was because it was pretty much the stuff we already had when we moved into this house. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the garage door where we enter from. We come in there and this door a lot. We're actually gonna see if we can figure out a way to make the door swing out into the garage and not into the house because they bump, the doors bump all the time. But so this is our basement door. And yes, I have jingle bells on it. So I know my kids are coming up and down the basement from like their playroom that's downstairs, which is another video, whole other video. But I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you how we use this space to store things because we have no like coat closet really where we can store our vacuum cleaners or things of that nature. So here we go. So first thing you see is my aprons. These are just command hooks with my aprons hung on them. They hang up perfectly here. They don't take up any space. They're not in anybody's way and they're off the floor and they're kept clean. But this is really what I wanted to show you guys and sorry for the bad lighting. It's hard to set up lighting. That's the light we have, one of those boob lights. But this is how we used it. This pegboard used to be in our kitchen in our old house, but now it's here. So basically, oops, what we do is that fell off, which that's not supposed to happen. But we have our dust pan, our Swiffer dusters, a fly swatter, our plastic bag storage on here. We have a little tiny mini dust pan. Sometimes this is great. I love to have this. This is where I store extra Swiffer things, some microfiber cloths, and this basket came from Ikea and we already owned it. This basket here needs to be a little reorganized. This is where I store all of our shark rocket attachments. It's our new vacuum that we got and I love that it hangs on a wall. It's great. But I already had this basket too. And I'm going to go down the steps. This down here actually, this is where dirty dish rags go. Which as you can see this needs to be cleaned but then what I do is I just grab it take it downstairs and this is for stuff that needs to make its way downstairs, I guess. And these are Dollar Tree baskets. When they get bent out of shape, I can go to Dollar Tree and get another one and it's only a dollar. So this is where we hung up our rocket. It comes with a mount and I love this thing. And I know, yes, it has a cord. If you want a cordless, people tell me, my brother used to work in retail. He hated the Dyson vacuum that they had because it didn't work. It didn't pick up. Crap. It's got great attachments. They all come with it, unlike the Dyson. You have to buy them all separately and this is way cheaper and I love it. Now and then down here we just have command hooks. Zoom in a little bit for you guys to see. Just have command hooks 
And they are holding up our Swiffer mop and our broom. I do have a regular, another mop that actually hangs right there. It's an actual mop with bucket kind of thing. But that's only for like super, super deep, deep cleaning. So, and that's pretty much it. We have used the storage with the stairs. We can't really put anything right here. I was actually thinking about putting some sort of like a vinyl decal or something, but it's too dangerous with the stairs. You can't really put a ladder on the stairs. So, but that is how we used our basement storage, like stairs going down the stairs with storage because we didn't have a place to put this stuff and there's, we, I didn't want to store it out in the garage either. So I hope this gives you guys a few little tips and tricks to doing that. And first of all, with pegboard, you have to have it separated from the wall. It can't be flat up against the wall. So we just have a big like nut back there to make it come out further away from the wall. You can't really, yeah, I can't really show you what's back there because it's annoying. And hanging pegboard is definitely a two person job. So don't try to do it by yourself. But yeah, everything we already owned when we moved into this house, except for some of these baskets, I had to buy a couple. And we didn't own the rocket, but we just purchased that at Target. And I love it. It's so super easy, so lightweight. It's just great. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go back and chat with you guys for a bit at the end. Hey guys, so that was how we use the wall space uh, in our stairs going down to our basement. Um, I hope this video just kind of gave you some ideas of what you can do with your wall space if you're kind of like, we don't have a place for this, we don't have a place for that, where do we put this, I, I don't know, blah blah blah. Hopefully that'll give you a few tips and tricks on where to put some of your stuff. Like if you want to buy a new vacuum cleaner, oh there it is. Maybe you should look into getting a shark rocket because it'll hang on your wall and you could store it like there. You could hang your brooms, everything. If you don't have front entryway space to hang them, like a lot of people do, they put their vacuum and stuff in their coat closet. Well, our coat closet floor is angled, so we can't put it in there. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you guys enjoyed this Organize It January video and I will catch you guys later. Bye.